Hi guys, good morning. We are starting a new trilogy here on my channel. And if you don't know me, I like to watch series a lot. We have watched series such as like TV shows and stuff, but we've also seen recently Lord of the Rings, which is like my favorite trilogy ever. I also read the books and now we're starting something else that is away from that world. And that is something a little bit more dark. I'm finally watching it. So now people can stop hassling me about this because today we are starting Batman, the Nolan Batman. We're starting with Batman Begins, obviously, because the beginning is where we'll begin. And I'm so excited. The only thing I know about this one is what made Heath Ledger so famous and also what caused something very upsetting. But we also have something new to test out. Today I got a new headset and we're trying out the Naken Rig 800 Pro HD, which is a wireless headset. It is compatible with PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5, which is perfect for me because, you know, I, I use my PlayStation 5 almost every day and I've been wanting, literally I've been craving for a new headset. And I've also been wanting a wireless one because I've been dropping things all the time because it gets connected to my chair for some reason i don't know why it's like witchcraft i can't get away from the cords so i really needed it so i'm gonna give you guys my full review of how i liked it more at the ending if you'd like to watch my full reaction together with me it will be over on patreon if you'd like to connect you can find all my social media link down below if you want to join on some live streams such as where we're playing resident evil village dlc right now and fallout 4 then you can find me over on twitch where we are live about three times a week maybe even four that's it let's get started watching batman begins Rachel, let me see. Can I see? Finders keepers and I found it. In my garden. Bruce? Aww. Oh. Bruce? Oh, Mr. Alfred! Huh. Did you have a dream nightmare? Voice on this place. What has happened? I'm no, going to fight you again until I kill you. Can they kill me before breakfast? You are in hell, Lichie Man. <laughs> and I am the devil. You're not the devil, you're practice. <laughs> Protection. Protection for them. Oh. Are you so desperate to fight criminals that you lock yourself in to take them on one at a time? Actually, there were uh, seven of them. My name is Merely Ducard, but I speak for Raz Al Ghul. Someone like you is only here by choice. You have been exploring the criminal fraternity, but whatever your original intentions, you have become truly lost. On what path, then? Path of a man who shares his hatred of evil and wishes to serve true justice. The path of the League of Shadows. The vigilantes. No, no, no. But if you devote yourself to an ideal, and if they can't stop you, then you become something else entirely. Huh. Cheers. Legend, Mr. Wayne. Tomorrow you will be released. There is a rare blue flower that grows on the eastern slopes. If you can carry it to the top of the mountain, you may find what you were looking for in the first place. Only you can know that. That scared me. <laughs> Yo, the audio is so good. Oh, he got it. Rose Al Ghul. Wait. What are you seeking? I seek the means to fight injustice, to turn fear against those who prey on the fearful. To manipulate the fears in others, you must first master your own. Are you ready to begin? I can barely stand. Death does not wait for you to be ready. Death is not considerate of all fear. Damn! Here you face death, tiger. Jitsu. Panzer. So skilled. This is not a dance. He's doing this in a suit, by the way. You 
are afraid, not of me. Tell us, Mr. Wayne, what do you fear? Will we be needing an ambulance, Master Wayne? I'll set the bone and take him for an x-ray later. I'm very sorry, sir. Don't I've worry. Told... Took quite a fall, didn't we, Master Bruce? Why did we fall, Bruce? So we can learn to pick ourselves up. The bats again. You know why they attacked you, don't you? They were afraid of you. Afraid of me? All creatures feel fear. Even the scary ones. Especially the scary ones. I got something to show you. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. What's wrong? <sighs> Just needed some fresh air. A little bit of opera goes a long way. Right, Bruce? Come on. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, is that him? Wallace. Joey. Come on, fast. That's fine. Take it easy. Here you go. I said you were... Hey. That's your father's. It's okay. Come here. Here you go. It's okay. It's not. It's okay. Uh-uh. Gordon. That is Jim Gordon. Hey, good news. We got him, son. They got the killer? But in Gotham, they never found him. You're in excellent hands. We'll be watching the Empire. When you grow up, it'll be waiting for you. I thought I might prepare a little supper. Very well. Alfred. Yes, Master Bruce. It was my fault, Alfred. Oh, I no, made the deed no, 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 no. If my hand got scared. It was nothing that you did. It was him and him alone. Do you understand? I miss him, Alfred. I miss him so much. So do I, Master Bruce. Do you still feel responsible for your parents' death? My anger outweighs my guilt. Come. <sighs> you know how to fight six men. We can teach you how to engage 600. Damn. You know how to disappear. We can teach you to become truly invisible. <laughs> invisible? Up here! Ninja understands that invisibility is a matter of patience and agility. <sighs> Always mind your surroundings. Ninjutsu employs explosive powders. As weapons or distractions. Your parents' death was not your fault. It was your father's. <laughs> Anger does not change the fact that your father failed to act. A man had a gun. Did that stop you? I've had training. The training is nothing. The will is everything. The will to act. Yield. You haven't beaten me. You've sacrificed sure footing for a killing stroke. Oh. Never mind. I thought he had it. You were stronger than your father. You didn't know my father. But I know the rage that drives you. I wasn't always here in the mountains. Once I had a wife, my great love, she was taken from me. You, I was forced to learn there are those without decency. Your anger gives you great power, but if you let it, it will destroy you, as it almost did me. What stopped it? Vengeance. That's no help to me. Why could you not avenge your parents? I prepared the master bedroom. My room will be fine. With all due respect, sir, Wayne Manor is your house. No, Alfred, it's my father's house. This house, Master Wayne, has sheltered six generations of your family. Why do you give a damn, Alfred? It's not your family. I give a damn because a good man once made me responsible for what was most precious to him in our world. Should I just bury the past out there with my parents, Alfred? I wouldn't presume to tell you what to do with your past, sir. Just know that there are those of us care about what you do with your future you haven't given up on me yet never oh alfred is so cute i love him it's nothing without the people who made it what it was now there's only alfred and you i'm not staying rachel you're just back for the hearing someone at this proceeding should stand for my parents what chill did is unforgivable then why's your boss letting him go in prison he shared a cell with carmine falcone he learned things, and he will testify in exchange for early parole. I've been saying Falcone wrong the entire time. It's Falcone. 
The depression hit working people like Mr. Chill hardest of all. But they say Falcone in Gotham. Yana, not a day goes by that I don't wish I could take back what I did. Gathered, there's a member of the Wayne family here today. Has he got anything to say? Yeah, the kid. No way. We don't need to see this. I do. The DA couldn't understand why Judge Fade had insisted on making the hearing public. Falcone paid him off to get chill out in the open. Maybe I should be thanking them. My parents deserve justice. Care about justice? Look beyond your own pain, Bruce. They talk about the depression as if it's history, and it's not. Things are worse than ever down here. Preying on the desperate, creating new Joe chills every day. He's destroying everything that they stood for. You want to thank him for that? Here you go. We all know where to find him. But as long as he keeps the bad people rich and the good people scared, no one will touch him. What chance does Gotham have when the good people do nothing? I'm not one of your good people, Rachel. All these years, I wanted to kill him. Now I can't. Oh, oh, come on. Your father would be ashamed of you. How would you know? You're just a neighbor? <laughs> I, I took that personal. Gosh darn it, Rachel. Taller than you look in the tabloids, Mr. Wayne. Could have just sent a thank you note. I didn't come here to thank you. I came here to show you that not everyone in Gotham's afraid of you. Only those who know me, kid. Look around you. Hmm. Now, I wouldn't have a second's hesitation in blowing your head off right here and right now in front of him. Now, that's power you can't buy. That's the power of fear. You haven't thought about your lady friend down in the DA's office. You haven't thought about your old butler. Bang! People from your world have so much to lose. You've never tasted desperate. You're Bruce Wayne, the Prince of Gotham. Don't come down here with your anger, trying to prove something to yourself. This is a world you'll never understand. Yeah, you got spirit, kid, I'll give you that. They said your father begged for mercy. Begged, like a dog. Should've did better. <laughs> for what? Your jacket? Let me have it some nice coat. Be careful who sees you with that. You're gonna come looking for me. Oh, everyone. It's a nice coat. <laughs> when you lived among the criminals, did you start to pity them? I lost many assumptions about the simple nature of right and wrong. I'm gonna travel. Fool, what the hell do I care what your name is? You're a criminal. What was your friend you wouldn't tell that to the guy who owned these? You've traveled the world to understand the criminal mind and conquer your fears. A criminal is not complicated. You fear your own power, fear your anger, the drive to do great, terrible things. Now, you must journey inwards. To conquer fear, you must become fear. You must bask in the fear of other men. Men fear most what they cannot see. Feel terror cloud your senses. Feel its power to distort. Know that this power can be yours. Become one with the darkness. Oh, is there gonna be bats in there? Oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not even scared of bats. I think. Focus. Stir your senses. You cannot leave any sign. Impressive. We have purged your fear. You are ready to lead these men. You are ready to become a member of the League of Shadows. But first, you must demonstrate your commitment to justice. What? That's my stop. No. Yeah. I'm no executioner. You want to fight criminals? This man is a murderer. You know this better than most. And where would I be leading these men? Gotham. Gotham's time has come. The city has become a breeding ground for suffering and injustice. It is beyond saving and must be allowed to die. Gotham must be destroyed. What he asks in return is the courage. To do what is necessary. I will go back to Gotham and I will fight men like this. What do you want? 
you doing? What's necessary, my friend? I will tell him you said he's alive. Master Wayne, you've been gone a long time. Yes, I have. You look very fashionable, apart from the mud. <laughs> I'm going to show the people of Gotham their city doesn't belong to the criminals and the corrupt. He believed that his example could inspire the wealthy of Gotham to save their city. Did it? In a way. But it's a symbol. There's a symbol that can be incorruptible. It's a persona to protect those you care about from reprisals. Actually, sir, I was thinking of myself. <laughs> Just couldn't figure the legal ramifications of bringing you back from the dead. You have me declared dead? Well, actually, it was Mr. Earl. And you can borrow the rolls if you like. Just bring it back with a full tank. <laughs> oh, boy. In my opinion, Mr. Zaz is as much a danger to himself as to others, and prison is probably not the best environment for his rehabilitation. Is that Victor Zaz? Dr. Crane? Ah! Oh. This is the third of Carmine Falcone's thugs you've had declared insane and moved into your asylum. Mr. Finch, I think you should check with Miss Dawes here just what implications your office has authorized her to make, if any. Falcone has half the city bought and paid for. Because as much as I care about getting Falcone, I care more about you. Bless it back again, sir. They nest somewhere in the grounds. Someone is sniffing around. Hey, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, Doc. I'm bringing in the shipments. We are paying you for that. Maybe money isn't as interesting to me as favors. I am more than aware that you are not intimidated by me, Mr. Falcone. But you know who I'm working for. And when he gets here... He's coming to Gotham. Yes, he is. And when he gets here, he's not going to want to hear that you have endangered our operation just to get your thugs out of a little jail time. Idealist, huh? Well, there's an answer to that, too. I don't want to know. Yes, you do. Uh oh. Good morning. I'm here to see you, Mr. Earl. Name? I'm Bruce Wayne. Why is no one answering the phone? It's Wayne Enterprises, Mr. Earl. I'm sure they'll call back. Bruce, you're supposed to be dead. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> he's been telling everyone he's dead, and then he shows up. I am looking for a job. Any ideas where you would start? Applied sciences caught my eye. I let him know you're coming. You look like him. Yeah, you're dead. Is Bruce the same actor that plays in American Psycho? Looks so familiar. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I've seen the cover. All prototypes, not in production, on any level whatsoever. What did they tell you this place was? They didn't tell me anything. Place to keep me from causing the board any more trouble. Ah, here we are. Kevlar utility harness, gas-powered magnetic grapple gun, the 350-pound test monofilament. Damn. No mech survival suit for advanced infantry. This sucker will stop a knife. Being counters didn't think a soldier's life was worth 300 grand. So, what's your interest in it, Mr. Wayne? I want to borrow it for uh, spelunking. <laughs> Look, I'd rather Mr. Earl didn't know about me borrowing. Mr. Wayne, the way I see it, all of this stuff is yours anyway. Charming. At least you'll have company. Alfred! Come up here! I can see everything all right from down here, sir. Thank you very much. Put it together ourselves. Precisely. There'll have to be uh, large orders uh, to avoid suspicion. How large? Say, uh, 10,000. Well, at least we'll have spares. <laughs> I'm no rat. In a town that's been, who's that a rat to anyway? Turn around. You're a good cop. 
One of the few. Carmine Falcone brings in shipments of drugs every week. Nobody takes him down. Why? He's paid up with the right people. What will it take to bring him down? Leverage on Judge Faden and the DA brave enough to prosecute. Who are you? Watch for my sign. You're just one man? Now we're two. We. Very smooth. Just some nut. Oh, what is it today? Today it's base jumping. Do you have any lightweight fabrics? You know, I think I have just a thing. It's called memory cloth. Notice anything? Regularly flexible, but put a current through it. Molecules realign, become rigid. Can be tailored to fit any structure based on a rigid skeleton. But I don't think they ever tried to market it to the billionaire spelunking base jumping crowd. <laughs> What's that? On the tumbler? Oh, you wouldn't be interested in that. <laughs> oh, but he would. Over here on the throttle, flip that open and throttle up. This will boost you into a rampless jump. We never could get the damn bridge to work, but this baby works just fine. So what do you think? Does it come in black? <laughs> Losing this a little bit too much heat to bring down, maybe. Never underestimate Gotham City. People get mugged coming home from work every day of the week. Sometimes things just go bad. Sir, problem with the graphite, sir. In the uh, meantime, sir, may I suggest you try to avoid landing on your head? <laughs> Why bats lost the one? That's frightened me. Time my enemies shared my dread. Stop, so clever. Don't burden yourself with these secrets of scary people. Stace. Stace. What? What? There's a problem out here. You better bail. Where are you? Here. <laughs> He's gotten real good. What the hell are you? I'm Batman. <gasps> nice go. Thanks. He still has it. Run. Ah! Falcone sent them to kill you. What's this? Leverage. For what? To get things moving. Who are you? Someone who rattled the cages. Yeah. Everything okay? Cut him down. Wow, okay. I don't care if it's rival gangs, guardian angels, or goddamn Salvation Army. Get them off the street and off the front page. They say it was just one guy, or a creature. <laughs> was some asshole in a costume. And this guy did deliver us one of the uh, city's biggest crime lords. No one takes the law into their own hands in my city. We've got Falcone at the scene. Drugs, prints, cargo manifests. This back character gave us everything. Okay, let's do it. Bats are nocturnal. Bats may be, but even for billionaire playboys, three o'clock is pushing it. <laughs> Your theatrics made an impression. If those are to be the first of many injuries to come, it would be wise to find a suitable excuse. Polo, for instance. I'm not learning polo, Alfred. Strange injuries and non-existent social life. These things beg the question as to what exactly does Bruce Wayne do with his time and his money? Drive sports cars, date movie stars, <laughs> buy things that are not... <laughs> I thought he fell. <laughs> You start pretending to have fun, you might even have a little by accident. The ship was carrying a prototype weapon. It, it looks like somebody turned it on. It uses focus microwaves to uh, vaporize the enemy's water supply. The weapon itself is um, missing. Yeah. Nice car. You should see my other one. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Guy dresses up like a bat, clearly has issues. <laughs> but he's put Falcone behind bars. They're jealous. ...and your friends do not have swimmer. Well, they're European. <laughs> huh? I'm buying this hotel, setting some new rules about the pool area. I think the Batman deserves a medal. Jacket to pin it on. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, just swimming. Wow, it is good to see you. You've gone a long time. I know. How are things? Same. Job's getting worse. Can't change the world on your own. What choice do I have? When you're too busy swimming. It's not me inside. I am. I am more. We have some more tests for you to buy. Bruce, deep down, you may still be that same great kid you used to be. Aww. But it's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. Yeah, Dr. Crane. I can't take it anymore. It's all too much. The walls are closing in. Blah, blah, blah. Not a couple of days of this food. I'll be true. I know about your experiments with the inmates of your nut house. See, I don't go into business with a guy without finding out his dirty secrets. Dad, we should kill you. Would you like to see my mask? I use it in my experiments. I'm probably not very frightening to a guy like you. With these crazies. They scream and they cry. Well, he's not faking. See if I can get him moved to the secure wing at Arkham. Oh. 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 Storm's coming. Scum is getting jumpy because you stood up to Falcone. They were splitting the shipment in two. Only half went to the dealers. Flash knows. He won't talk. He thinks you're dangerous. What do you think? I think you're trying to help. No. Why does he do that? Before. <laughs> Where were the other drugs going? They, they went to some guy for a couple of days before they went to the dealer. There was something, something else in the drugs. I never went to the drop off point. It was in the Narrows. Ship left Singapore with 246 containers, but arrived with 247. So I'm guessing there's something I'm not supposed to find in there. Things are working a little differently now. Open it up. What the hell is this? Everyone is in on something. It's you, isn't it? Everybody's been talking about you. The other kids won't believe me. Get rid of all traces. I torch the whole place. All right. No chill. Having trouble. Take a seat. Have a drink. You look like a man who takes himself too seriously. Do you want my opinion? You need to lighten up. Two days. It's your birthday. Many happy returns. I felt these effects before. Some kind of hallucinogen, weaponized in aerosol form. You have been hanging out in the wrong clubs, Mr. Wayne. I called Mr. Fox when your condition worsened after the first day. I analyzed your blood, isolating the receptor compounds and the protein-based catalyst. I mean, I understand any of that. <laughs> Bottom line, I synthesized an antidote. Could you make more? I'll bring what I have. The antidote should inoculate you for now. Alfred, always a pleasure. Lucius, you sure you don't want to come in? I have to get back. I just wanted to leave this. Thank you. My boss has been missing for two days, which in this town means that I should probably start by looking at the bottom of the river. Who authorized that? Get Crane down there right now. Do not take no for an answer. Call. By morning. Falcone, Dr. Crane, move him to Arkham Asylum on suicide watch. You enjoy your party, Bruce. Some of us have work to do. You be careful. No. Just kept it all these years. Master Wayne, the guests will be arriving. Keep them happy until I arrive. Tell them that joke, you know. Poor Alfred. Wayne Enterprise. 
47B, 1 and E. It's a microwave emitter. It was designed to vaporize an enemy's water supply. I want all the information on the development of this project. All data, files, backup disks on my desk right away. And I'm firing you. Didn't you get the memo? But isn't Bruce the boss of the whole thing? Doesn't he have like to ask people before he can fire someone? This does. Isn't it convenient for a 52 year old man who has no history of mental illness to suddenly have a complete psychotic breakdown just when he's about to be indicted? Well, as you can see for yourself, there is nothing convenient about his symptoms. Scarecrow. What's Scarecrow? Usually one conforming to Jungian archetypes. In this case, a Scarecrow. And here only the mind can grant you power. You enjoy the reversal. I do what I do to keep thugs like Falcone behind bars, not in therapy. Full access to Falcone, including blood work. First thing tomorrow, then. Tonight. <clears throat> As you wish. This way, please. There's something I think you should see. Oh, he's gonna Scarecrow her. Is there even a term for what he does? This is where we make the medicine. Perhaps you should have some. To clear your head. Unless you're here. He's here. The Batman. What anyone does when a prowler comes around, call the police. At this point, they can't stop us. But the Batman has a talent for disruption. Force him outside, the police will take him down. I give her a concentrated dose. The mind can only take so much. Taste of your own medicine, doctor. What have you been doing here? Isn't here right now, but if you'd like to make an appointment, the Batman's in there. SWAT's on the way. What's happened to her? Crane poisoned her with a psychotropic hallucinogen, panic inducing toxin. They can't help her, but I can. Get her downstairs, meet me in the alley on the narrow side. Was he working for Falcone? He meant to someone else, someone worse. I need to get her the antidote before the damage becomes permanent. What is that? Back up. What the? That is insane. He can command them. Excuse me. I'll get my car. I brought mine. Yours. I gotta get me one of those. Uh, it's a black tank. <laughs> Stay calm. This is so great. Been poisoned. Tank got no way off that roof. Who is this guy? At least tell me what it looks like. Never mind. Uh oh. We're tracking suspect vehicle heading west on I 17. Rachel doesn't have the time. Police is killing a girl. Can you? He would probably be home f for a while ago, you know? You don't understand. They put it all in. It must have been at this for weeks. Why haven't we felt the effects? It must be a compound that has to be absorbed in the lungs. You were poisoned. Dr. Crane, I have Sergeant Gordon, your friend. I don't have the luxury of friends. Aww. Get these to Gordon. And Gordon alone trusts no one. The antidote. One for Gordon to inoculate himself, the other for mass production. Crane was just a pawn. 
We need to be ready. When you told me your grand plan for saving Gotham, the only thing that stopped me from calling the men in white coats was when you said that it wasn't about thrill-seeking. It's not. What would you call that? Damn good television. Damn good television. <laughs> Those are Bruce Wayne's guests out there, sir. You have a name to maintain. I don't care about my name. It's not just your name, sir. It's your father's name, and it's all that's left of him. Don't destroy. Who are you working for, Crane? Oh, it's too late. You can't stop it now. We're all just fired for asking too many questions about it. Hmm. I need you to go back to Wayne Enterprises right now and start making more of that antidote. I think the police are going to need as much as they can get their hands on it. But my security clearance has been revoked. It'll stop a man like you now, would it? I suppose not. Oh, they're so good. There's somebody here oh, no, you simply must meet. Am I pronouncing this right? Mr. Raz Al Ghul? You're not Raz al Ghul. I watched him die. But is Raz al Ghul immortal? Are his methods supernatural? Surely a man who spends his nights scrambling over the rooftops of Gotham wouldn't begrudge me dual identities. I saved your life. I warned you about compassion, Bruce. You let these people go. You are welcome to explain the situation to them. I want to thank you all for coming here tonight and drinking all of my booze. All you phonies. Sycophantic suck-ups. You smile through your teeth at me. The party's over. Get out. The apple has fallen very far from the tree, Mr. Wayne. Uh-huh. Ruining his father's name. Yep. <gasps> Crane was working for you. His toxin is derived from the organic compound found in our blue flowers. But really, you are going to release Crane's poison on the entire city. Then watch Gotham tear itself apart through fear. This guy! The League of Shadows has been a check against human corruption for thousands of years. Every time a civilization reaches the pinnacle of its decadence, we return to restore the balance. Gotham isn't beyond saving. Give me more time. You are defending a city so corrupt we have infiltrated every level of its infrastructure. Time to play. When I found you in that jail, you were lost. But I believed in you. I took away your fear, and I showed you a path. You are my greatest student. It should be you standing by my side, saving the world. I'll be standing where I belong, between you and the people of Gotham. No one can save Gotham. Tomorrow, the world will watch in horror as its greatest city destroys itself. The movement back to harmony will be unstoppable this time. Create enough hunger and everyone becomes a criminal. But this time, no misguided idealists will get in the way. Like your father, you lack the courage to do all that is necessary. If someone stands in the way of true justice, you simply walk up behind them. You never did learn to mind your surroundings. Justice is balance. Burned my house and left me for dead. Consider us even. Well, he saved you. What is the point of all those push-ups if you can't even lift a bloody log? The Wayne legacy is more than bricks and mortar, sir. I wanted to save God. Why do we fall, sir? Given up on me. Never. Now! Harassment! I see harassment! Well, maybe you'd like to see some excessive force. Hey, hey, Madman hey. with the gun. Madman with the gun? <laughs> what are you doing here? Our mutual friend sent me with this. Counteracts Crane's toxin. Hopefully you won't need it. I better get you off the island before they raise the bridges. I can't find my mom. <laughs> He just... It's okay. Whoa. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down.
the hell is going on in there? We need reinforcements. Tag team, SWAT, oh, oh, right? Go ahead. It's okay. It's okay. No one's gonna hurt you. Except Batman. If they hit the whole city with toxin, there's nothing to stop Gotham tearing itself apart from mass panic. How are they gonna do that? They'll be using the train. They get their machine into Wayne Station, it'll cause a chain reaction that'll vaporize the entire city's water supply. But I may need your help. What do you need? Can you drive stick? This is Gordon. Prepare to lower the bridge. Uh oh. I told you he'd come. You could die. At least tell me your name. Batman. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. Bruce? Well, well. You took my advice about theatricality a bit? Literally. Pressure's moving along the mains, blowing all the pipes. And if that pressure reaches us, the water supply right across the whole city is gonna blow! This is so good! I'm like, completely speechless, I know. You will never learn. Wow. The meeting's already started. Fuck. I seem to remember firing you. Yours. Then I'm the owner. The company went public a week ago. And I bought most of the shares. But the important thing is that my company's future is secure. Didn't you get the memo? Oh! <laughs> Savage. I was a coward with a gun. Justice is about more than revenge, so thank you. I never stopped thinking about you. About us. Oh, I'm sitting so far away. Batman's just a symbol, Rachel. No, this is your mask. The man I loved. Maybe someday when Gotham no longer needs Batman, I'll see him again. I thought this might be a good opportunity for uh, improving the foundations. In the southeast corner. Precisely, sir. Nice. I couldn't find any mob bosses. <laughs> we can bring Gotham back. Take this guy. Arm robbery, double homicide. Taste for the theatrical, like you. Leaves a calling card. I never said thank you. And you'll never have to. That was so good! That was so good! Hello, why did- <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, this was one of the movies where I felt like I was just so 
into it. I could not look away. I could just, I was just watching and I was very quiet. But then there were so many things happening in the movie. I just kind of, I was just so sucked into it. It's, I loved it. This was so good. And it's so different as well because I remember some of the characters or most of the characters because I have seen Gotham, the TV show or Netflix show. And then I have played uh, Gotham Knights. I've seen Superman versus uh, or Batman versus Superman. I've seen Justice League movies and um, I've seen the Batman movie that was released recently but i've never seen like the original batman and it was just so good i never knew he had a neighbor because in gotham the only other girl that he gets to know is like ivy which is you know poison ivy and selena kyle catwoman it's just so many things that are so different that is just so insane to me in gotham Knights, the entire concept is about other superheroes protecting gotham you know because ziraz al ghul has killed Bruce Wayne or Batman and it's like it's just so weird seeing him on the screen wow and then Crane seeing him as an adult because he was so much younger we got to know his father and what he did before he like made his son go crazy because of all of his experiments and now we, we saw Sass okay Victor Sass the famous hitman in Gotham oh and Jim Gordon but I, I don't think I've ever known a Rachel. I always thought that the only love interest that Bruce Wayne had was Selena Kyle. This is... Oh, no. You know what? I really, really, really love this movie. I'm so excited to go and watch the next one. The Dark Knight is the next one. I was kind of upset that I didn't get to see the Joker. But you saw the ending, which means that in The Dark Knight, we get to meet Joker. And I haven't really seen anything else than the joker movie and suicide squad those are the only jokers i know of i have seen jared leto and joaquin phoenix so i'm so excited to see heath ledger because everyone has been talking about him everyone is still talking about him and how he did in these movies okay i am so excited so 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 so, so excited before ending and saying bye, I wanted to mention more about the headset I've been using. So comfortable because it's very big. I also noticed that you can like pop out these parts. So you can have like small, medium and large on the headset. So I am a medium, I noticed. Because if I tried on small, my hair just didn't want it to sink. I think it's because it's so thick or maybe I'm just thick in the head. That could also be. It was so nice. There's so many different ways to like control the headset and there's also a microphone to it i really enjoyed this movie the audio was quite better than what i have been using recently or earlier and i also want to thank nakon for sending me their product i have been wanting a wireless headset for so many months and i've been talking about it non-stop on my stream yeah Okay, I'm done yapping about it. <laughs> if you'd like to watch my full reaction together with me, it's over on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. You can find me on all other social media linked down below. Thank you for being part of this journey. And I'll see you for the dark night. Bye, guys.